Good morning, it's Tuesday, October 29th, and this is Slices of Wenatchee. We're excited to bring you a closer look at one of our top stories and other announcements every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Today, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Rural Housing Service is awarding $4.2 million to the Housing Authority of Chelan County and the City of Wenatchee. This funding is aimed at rehabilitating three apartment complexes that provide crucial housing for agricultural workers in the area. And later, Wenatchee is taking steps to replace a massive piece of its infrastructure, a 4 million gallon water reservoir located near the corner of Okanagan Avenue and Gare Street. Before we begin, have you joined Neighbor yet? If not, download the app today and join local conversations about issues that matter. Neighbor is a site just for our local community focused on facts, not misinformation. Best of all, it's free for everyone. To learn more, visit WenatcheeWorld.com slash N-A-B-U-R. Now our future story. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Rural Housing Service is awarding $4.2 million to the Housing Authority of Chelan County and the City of Wenatchee. This funding is aimed at rehabilitating three apartment complexes that provide crucial housing for agricultural workers in the area. On Wednesday, USDA Housing Administrator Joaquin El Toro visited Wenatchee to meet with the Housing Authority and local leaders, and he even toured one of the complexes set to receive these upgrades. Sasha Sleeman, the Executive Director of the Housing Authority, said it was an honor to host El Toro and emphasized how proud she was of her team for their hard work in securing these funds. She called it a competitive process, and Wenatchee ended up receiving the largest award out of the USDA's $18 million allotment for the Off-Farm Labor Housing Program. This investment is significant for the local agricultural community. The funding will go toward making important improvements to these housing units, like upgrading roofing, repairing gutters and asphalt, and making sure the buildings meet Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, standards. Sleeman highlighted that these upgrades are about more than just comfort. They're about improving health and safety for the residents. The three apartment complexes receiving upgrades are Wenatchee Two Apartments, Washington Square, and Heritage Glen. Altogether, they provide 105 units of housing for agricultural workers who are employed year-round. The tenants pay 30% of their income in rent, and thankfully, Sleeman confirmed that these upgrades won't lead to any rent increases. The goal is to keep these homes affordable while improving the quality of life for residents. I want to share a quick story from Erica Frias, who's lived in the Wenatchee 2 apartments for six years. She works in a local fruit packing warehouse, and she described her home as a, quote, good and affordable place compared to other options in the area. Erica didn't know about the USDA funding until recently, but she said it was a good idea to put money into improving the complex, as it's definitely starting to show its age. Local leaders are hopeful that this investment is just the beginning. Wenatchee Mayor Mike Poirier, who also met with Al Toro, stressed how vital this funding is for the agricultural community. He expressed interest in pursuing more federal funding to create affordable housing for other working-class residents across different workforce sectors. It's all part of an effort to make Wenatchee a more affordable place to live for everyone. The Washington State Tree Fruit Association President John Devaney was also in attendance and emphasized how important farm worker housing is for attracting and retaining the agricultural workforce. He pointed out that Wenatchee's housing market is facing rapid cost increases and limited inventory, so preserving and rehabilitating the housing we already have is crucial. In a press release, Joaquin Al Toro said, quote, The Biden-Harris administration is making historic investments to ensure everyone has a place they can proudly call home. This includes farm workers and their families. The funding we're announcing today will provide safe, modern homes for those who work hard to feed our nation, while also creating jobs for tradespeople who build and restore these homes. It's encouraging to see this kind of attention and funding going toward the hard-working people who play such an essential role in our food supply. These improvements will not only provide better living conditions for farm workers and their families, but will also contribute to the overall well-being of the Wenatchee community. Next, Wenatchee is taking steps to replace a massive piece of its infrastructure, a 4 million gallon water reservoir located near the corner of Okanagan Avenue and Gare Street. This is a project that's been a long time coming, and the City Council just took a major step forward. Last Thursday, the Wenatchee City Council approved a service agreement to replace the nearly century-old reservoir. According to Darcy Ronning from the Public Works Department, this reservoir has been in service for 94 years, and its age is really starting to show. Darcy shared that, quote, Our water reservoir at the end of Okanagan is 94 years old, and we are preparing to replace that project. It will be a long project. To get started, the city has brought in Stantec Consulting Services Incorporated to handle the design work for the replacement. The council's agenda report highlighted just how badly the reservoir needs an upgrade. 
the floor joints are leaking, and the roof has sustained significant weather damage along with corrosion of the reinforcements. Clearly, this reservoir has reached the end of its useful life. The plan is to start construction on a new reservoir sometime between 2028 and 2030. Ronning mentioned that the estimated cost for the new structure is between $18 million and $20 million. And while they'd love for that funding to come from a grant, Ronning pointed out that securing grants takes a lot of effort and a solid plan, which is exactly why they're teaming up with Stantec. The service agreement with Stantec Consulting Services comes in at around $400,000, and the council approved it unanimously. It's a significant investment, but it's also a critical first step in ensuring Wenatchee has a reliable water supply for decades to come. Thanks for listening. For more information about all the stories you heard today, visit WenatcheeWorld.com. The Wenatchee World has been engaging, informing, and inspiring North Central Washington communities since 1905. We encourage you to subscribe today to keep your heart and mind connected to what matters most in North Central Washington. Thank you for starting your morning with us, and don't forget to tune in again on Thursday. Thank you.